Today, I have the great honor to interview one of my favorite writers of all the times, who kindly accepted to receive the Cilento International Poetry Prize for his deep and precious narrative poetical work. And before starting, let me say it is a real pleasure for me to highlight that the Superintendenza's director, ai beni culturali e paesaggistici di Salerno e Avellino, Raffaella Bonaudo, and the curator of the Cilento um, Prize, Dottoressa Rosa Maria Vitola, who both with me strongly wanted to give you our prize, sent you all their best wishes and congratulations for your amazing work in the field of literature. Thank uh, you. Thank, thanks to you and to all of them, and uh, um, you, I'm not worth uh, all these good words, and it's, uh, and I'm happy for it, of course, yeah. Thanks. So, and, and greet everyone you mentioned, please, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, dear Jon, uh, welcome, and let's start with our debate around your literature world, your literary world. Um, I would like, uh, although I read about your beginning, uh, to open my interview, asking uh, you to kindly let all us know um, how you, how your brilliant literary journey started. In particular, how and when you discovered the magic power of using yourself, the written word, and what this allowed you since the beginning. Yeah, you know, when I when I was quite young, in my early teens, uh, uh, around 12 years old, I started out searching for, I guess, uh, a kind of way to express myself for something. I played the guitar a lot, uh, electric guitar and even a classical guitar. Uh, I painted, I was drawing and painting, and I also wrote small lyrics to songs and... Uh, quite fast, or even small poems and uh, short, uh, quite short stories. And that's how it all began. Uh, I never became a good musician. I was uh, not a really bad drawer or perhaps I had a kind of li a little talent for uh, painting and drawing. Uh, but uh, it was the uh, right thing that felt the closest to me. And uh, I, I remember in the beginning that I, I simply liked it because I, in my spare time, in, uh, wrote these small poems and, and stories. I, I felt like a, I found a, a secure place inside myself where I could uh, reach a kind of peace uh, or, and relate to the world in the same time. Uh, but with the with the distance of writing, so um, that's how it all began in a way. Uh, what I what I wrote in this early age it was really bad, of course. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, I read, uh, I found uh, some pieces, and I'm I'm ashamed. So, but still, uh, it it uh, it it uh, I liked it, and uh, but I didn't like to. I didn't like school. I didn't like to go to school. I didn't like to write what I had to write in school. So this was a secret place. This writing was the opposite of the school writing somehow. Um, uh, and um, yeah, after a couple of years, I stopped playing the guitar completely for various reasons. I even stopped with this painting of mine, but I kept on writing. And uh, when I was 17, 18, something like that, I wrote my first novel. Uh, it isn't published, and thanks God for that. I have kept, I found it. I, I found a manuscript uh, some years ago, and uh, it was, um, it wasn't completely bad, but it, um, it, 
it wasn't good at least. It was very close to the writing of a Norwegian writer called Tarja Beeshoos. Uh, he's the most famous for a book called The Birds. Yeah. So, um, and uh, what I wrote is, was the, very close to a novel called The Ice Palace. So, and yes. uh, yeah, but I wrote, and I even wrote, of course, uh, some more poems, etc. I I don't know that this was when I went to what we call the uh, gymnasium. That's the, that's the kind of school preparing for studies. Uh, <laughs> so I live. I grew up in a very small community, and to go to this kind of school, you had to leave home and to live by your own. <laughs> so since I was 15, 16 years old, I've lived by my own. Uh, I think that's that was a good thing. Yeah, I, I had to rent a, a room uh, uh, in the in the village to call it that, where where the school was, and uh, yeah, to, to live there and go back in a, in the weekends now and then, and and to my parents or my home or in the in the holidays. So, uh, um, so, so it all began, and but I never, to be honest with you, had any ambitions of being a writer. I, I liked to write, and I wrote, uh, and it was uh, no no idea. I, um, I, I, I thought that was far beyond my reach, in a way, to to become a real writer uh, uh, or author. Uh, so, um, uh, but then, 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 at twenty, I wrote a novel. I sent it to a publisher, and they, to my great surprise, surprise, they wrote back to me and said that I wanted to publish it, but they wanted me to change this and change that and so on. And I should never have done it. It it only made the novel worse. But I did it to have it published. It's, this novel was called Red Black, and when I was, I just passed. The, I just, I was just twenty-three years old when it was published, and I wrote it at twenty. And at this time, something had happened. I don't know what exactly, but I had developed this a way of writing that is more or less the way I, I still write. Uh, I would say. And uh, what I, the main reason for developing this way of writing, it was that I started to think about writing as a kind of playing music, uh, that I became came into a, a musical state when playing, and I t tried to re recreate that in what I was writing. Uh, and. Um, all the repetitions and the variations and all this, uh, uh, that, that rhythm is that important in my, in everything I write. It, 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 it goes back to my, to my young, this young teenager uh, playing the guitar and playing in a boys band and listening to music almost all the, all the time. He stopped it. He quit, mu quit with music and started writing. And after a while he started to, Try to recreate in writing what he was creating in and playing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for uh, this refined uh, answer. <laughs>